And wake the fuck up, nigga, I'm here. Shout to Philly, hi, dickies up, nigga. Yo, fuck with your boy, AngryFan007, Gmail, pissfan 12 at gmail.com. Check it out, we on Twitter now, AngryFan007. What up, niggas, you good, man? Nah, I'm good, I'm alive, I'm breathing, man. Shout the whole Angry Fan movement, real shit. Yo, check this shit out, B. Before I even get into this recap, real shit, there's a couple battles I wanna talk to. Um, Bonnie, first and foremost, shout out to Bonnie and Misfit. I saw your battle on Queen of the Ring, shout out to Debo and everybody. Um, check this out, Bonnie. In the comments section, a fan said there should be a petition started so that Bonnie has to get a job and does not battle rap no more. Bonnie, please step it the fuck up. And I fuck with you, this is me. You know what I'm saying? I met you a couple of times. Please step it the fuck up, Bonnie, because you're way too cool for uh, these niggas to be saying this shit about you. You need to stop bullshitting and turn the fuck up. Okay, whatever is wrong with your performance, fix it. Seriously, because niggas are too much starting a petition to where you can't battle rap no more and you just got a fucking clearly beat Misfit. There's a problem right there, Bonnie. Fix that shit, man. Seriously, fix that shit. I fucked with you. You know what I do. Fix that shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to say that. Cortez. Um, in my angry fan debate group, somebody said 40 bars, jazz, uh, official, and what was it? C3, I believe? And Gaddis. C3 and Gaddis. They said they're all better than you. They said they're all better than you, my nigga. Gaddis, C3, Official 40 bars and jazz. Cortez, stop playing games with me and step it up, please. Because that, that right there was serious. I'm gonna tell you something, my nigga. That debate la uh, lasted so fucking long yesterday in my Facebook debate group. It's disgusting, my nigga. Like, it's not even like niggas is like, oh, come on, that's some bullshit. No. A lot of niggas was co signing that shit, Cortez. Okay? A lot of niggas got you losing the 40 bars, and I'm one of them. You just lost the 40 bars, my nigga. Like, stop playing games, my nigga. Turn the fuck up. Because I wasn't even a fan of you at first. I really wasn't, and you know that shit. Your man, you know all that. No, y'all all know that. You made me a fan. Stop playing games, Cortez. Stop playing games and step it the fuck up because they're saying you're not even. They're saying you're not even top five and queen of the ring. Let that sink into what they're saying about you right now, my nigga. I just wanna say that shit right there. What is this shit that I'm hearing about? Gilly the Kid is supposed to be boxing Soldier Boy. Check this shit out. Gilly the Kid, if you lose, do you know how crazy you gonna look to us hood niggas, my nigga? You pretty much ran Philly, my nigga. Like, what is this shit? Like, if you lose to Soldier Boy, it's gonna be so fucking crazy. Don't forget about Sticky Fingers. We all thought he was that nigga till he lost on MTV in a boxing match. I'm just saying, my nigga. Think about this shit and stop bullshitting. Start training for Soldier Boy to make sure you win this motherfucking boxing match. That's how I feel about that right there. Yo, let's talk about it, man. De uh, Daylight versus Charlie Clips. Jesus Christ, what a dope ass battle. My bad. Listen, man. My car been fucked up, the mechanic been fucked the fuse up and burnt my shit to, to a crisp. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Like, shit crazy right now. I just had to get a fucking used Saturn and fucking get back and forth to work. Shit crazy for me right now. It's been crazy for me for the past couple of weeks. That's why I really ain't been blogging and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. So, they like, I see you blogging. I see you posting in my group some shit about I ain't been blogging because you on your shit. Knock it the fuck off, my nigga. Life happens to niggas and shit. That's the only reason why my ass ain't been blogging as much like I said I was going to be doing. Calm the fuck down. But I'm still gonna give you a little punk ass recap, you know what I'm saying? Ha <laughs> ha! I fuck with that, like, all you quill niggas, calm the fuck down. I fuck with this nigga. Relax, you know what I'm saying? I've met this nigga mad times. Chill out, he's mad cool and shit. But, um, I actually gave the Charlie Clips. I'm not gonna front. I gave Daylight Round 1. Daylight? Yo, my nigga, you know what it is about Daylight, my nigga? Is that you gotta actually listen to what the fuck this nigga is saying. He's not saying no, like, Charlie Clips. Charlie Clips West Coast game, stupid, but you knew what the fuck was going on. You ain't have to really think. You see what I'm saying? You ain't have to think. I don't want to say it's basic, because it's not that easy to, 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 to put all the West Coast uh, uh, legends and ballads and, 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 and MCs in a scheme. It's not that easy, but you can follow the scheme. Daylight is not like that. With Daylight, you got to actually pay attention and listen. He has all kinds of fucking movie references and video game references. And if you're not on that shit, you're not going to know what the fuck he's talking about. You get what I'm saying? So I like... Charlie Clips, uh, 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 his fucking West Coast scheme. I love that shit. It was like, wow, all right, Charlie, Charlie was going off the first round. Then you got Daylight. He got the moving scheme. Then he coming with, with, with the windbreaker, the Aladdin line. I mean, come on, my nigga. Daylight was going retarded, my nigga. Two fours, uh, we say two fours, the leaves, six, eight. Uh, basic, but hard body. Basic, but hard body. You gotta watch this nigga Daylight, man. Daylight be saying the Toy Story breakdown. I mean, this is his first round. What do you say? He said, uh, one blast will air out his it, one blast will air out his neck. You like to burp. I mean, you gotta listen to what Daylight is saying. It actually makes sense, my nigga. It's real shit. The, his one line is just 
They're just crazy. And then he ends it with the Biggie line. I'm just like, oh my God, not the Biggie line. That's kind of fucked up, nigga. Not the... Then he turns around and he goes, Tupac is from New York. So blah, blah. I'm just like, oh my God. That, if there was a, a, a crazy ending to a first round, Quill got it on this one right here. The, the, the Biggie and then the Tupac, it was just like, oh no. There's no way I can get this Charlie Clips. No way. All you niggas saying... Clips 3 old Daylight, y'all niggas are bugging. Listen to Daylight first round. He's going retarded. The second round, I thought Charlie Clips clearly took that. Clearly. I thought it was okay. I wasn't as amped up as the first between both of them. But I think Charlie Clips took the second. Then it really comes down to the third for me, my niggas. And it's just like, the third is crazy. Like, when Daylight, when this nigga Charlie Clips starts talking to the mask, it's not even like he's talking about it. It's just like... When I put you on, it's for murder and shit. Like, it's just like, oh, shit. Like, Charlie Clips is not playing with this nigga right now. He's going in right now. You dig what I'm saying? So it's just like, I didn't really think that. And then the whole dot mob shit, you'll always be, uh, be behind Mook. You, what he say? Uh, you play lock, like, you Mook, you play lock. I'm just like, oh, my God, this nigga's not playing with Daylight. So I really thought it was over from there. Then here comes Daylight. And you got, niggas got to understand, I don't like the way Daylight started. It was kind of slow. I don't know if he know what the fuck he was saying or what it was slow, but Daylight is the master of. He has unorthodox schemes and he has crazy one round, well one liners. Like when he goes to uh, the fetus bar, the dice bar, the dice bar, the clips bar, the the, the the frisbee bar. I mean, he has a bunch of one liners, but I hated how he ended. They like if you did not end it the way you did, I would have gave you the fucking one real shit. And let me explain something to you niggas too. Like, I don't know about you niggas. I've been watching Daylight since the jungle. And he knows all this shit. So all you niggas be saying, oh yeah, there's, there's no clue. And Angry fans, they hate him. No, Angry fans not a hater. I don't like the fucking antics. I don't like this nigga stripping in, in the UK. I don't like him stripping on Total Slaughter. I don't like him and him and pause whipping this shit out in Queen of the Ring. I don't like him. He's battling, uh, who he battles? Scheme? He's wearing fucking curly hair and make. I don't like none of that stupid shit right there. Bars? No. You can't say he don't got bars. I've never said that. He knows that shit. So all you niggas saying I hate Daylight, you niggas are bugging right now. Like, I'm a Daylight fan. I just think he goes overboard with the antics. I know why he do it, but he goes overboard with him. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I really think that Daylight almost beat Charlie Clips. Like, if he had ended the third better, I would have gave, gave it to Daylight, my nigga. Like, I was really feeling Daylight third, too. But it was just like, Charlie Clips and that mass shit, that was so original. It just fucked me up, my nigga. I'm just, it's Charlie Clips number one. I see a lot of niggas saying they want to see Charlie Clips battle hollow. I'm gonna be real true, man. I might have Charlie Clips being hollow. What do you niggas got? Who you got? Hollow or Charlie Clips? How can we sit there and watch Charlie take all these battles and just be winning? And then we still gonna sit there and say Hollow's better than this nigga. I, I just don't understand that shit, you know what I'm saying? And I fuck with him, but I'm keeping it real, man. Fuck all the bullshit. I'm, I'm done playing games with these niggas. Cause they all just care about money. So guess what? Since you niggas all care about you niggas shit, I'm gonna care about my angry fan movement. We're gonna keep it real with you niggas. So peace to you niggas. Catch me in traffic when you see me. Real shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be sugarcoating nothing for you niggas, cause y'all are bugging the fuck out. Y'all battling every goddamn week. Some of madness. We got niggas on some of madness who have a, a battle a week before. The game is fucked up right now. It's fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it is. And I hope that all you you uh you up and coming battlers and all you mid tier battlers, I hope y'all gonna step y'all bars up because the masses who are controlling battle rap are not gonna look for you niggas if you don't have a fan base or a name. They're just not. They're fucking not. You gotta understand that shit. You niggas gotta be fucking uh. Y'all fan bases gotta be up right now so y'all name can be mentioned, my niggas. Otherwise, y'all gonna get lost in the goddamn system straight up and down, my nigga. That's how it is, man. That's how I really feel about that shit. That's how I really feel about Drake battling murder move. And another thing, you niggas sit here acting like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, why you shit? No, Drake follows the culture. Like, hold up, my nigga. I understand he followed the culture. I can clearly see this nigga at King of the Die. I'm trying to say, this nigga, why does he deserve murder move? Is what I'm trying to say. Like, what the fuck? Can I see a warm up battle? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not just trying to say, oh man, Drake can't battle. No, he battles. I mean, he raps. I understand that. Can we see a warm up battle from Drake first before we throw this nigga to a nigga who just beat the shit out of Lux? Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. You niggas know I'm right, man. Fuck all that shit. And shout out to Drake and the Drake fans. But you niggas, if you niggas don't feel where I'm coming from, you niggas is bugging. Because if Drake and this follow can just battle fucking Moot, then that means that uh, uh, R. Kelly can say, hey, I got some money in the fan base. I can battle Lux. It's that fucking simple, my niggas. It's about money right now. Y'all gotta wake up and look at that shit. We at a motherfucking crossroads right now, my nigga. Either we gonna lay down and just take any battles they give us, or we gonna speak the fuck up and let niggas know them battles that you give us are whack. 
so they can wake the fuck up and realize that just because you got money don't mean shit. Cause we battle rap fans. What about the what about the diehard battle rap fans who been here from day one? You think they want to see Drake versus Murder Moot? No, they don't want to see that shit. You gotta understand that shit, B. They don't want to see that shit. Straight up and that's how I really feel about that shit. And if it wasn't for us old battle rap fans who've been following since Smack DVD since the motherfucking beginning, battle rap wouldn't be where the fuck it was at. If we ain't never watched battle rap, they wouldn't be here. We put this shit here. You battle rap niggas, yeah, I kept battling, yeah, but that's because we kept watching you niggas. Y'all act like y'all don't understand that stupid shit. So we, been, we, we watch you niggas. That's why y'all got thousands of followers on Twitter, like, mad people on Facebook. It's because of us, my nigga. It's not you niggas, it's us. You can't battle in front of a fucking empty crowd. You niggas don't understand that shit, though. Y'all yeah, don't understand that shit, though. I'm saying real shit. I don't give a big shot to Daylight. Daylight, you trolled my group all the goddamn time, nigga. Tell me you're gonna start an angry quail movement. What the man? Whatever, you better break me in, nigga. Fuck out of here. I ain't scared of you, nigga. I ain't scared of you, nigga. I've known you since before you had that mask on. So don't try to come at me like I'm a hater, my nigga. You already know what it is. I met you mad times. Stop playing games with me, my nigga. Real shit, man. Shout out to Daylight and shout out to Charlie Clips, my nigga. This is a fire ass battle. Yeah. Yeah. Did you niggas see Big K versus Big Cannon? Check it out, man. Big K's in my top five right now. I don't care what nobody says. He's in my Big K. He's, uh, Big K's in my top five right now. And Big Cannon is damn near right there also. I don't give a fuck. You know what it is, my nigga? Yo, these top ten niggas, my nigga, like real rap, like I be sitting back, I'm analyzing these niggas and shit, and they're not doing it for me no more. They're just not doing it for me no more. You got niggas who are really going hard. Big Cannon, do you hear Big Cannon's wordplay? Do you hear his word? He think I don't even like him. Do you hear Big Cannon's wordplay? It is fucking ridiculous. Do you hear Big K's haymakers? You, you didn't watch the battle? What the fuck are you niggas waiting for? What are you? You didn't watch the battle, my nigga? Fuck out of here. I fucking hate some of you niggas, man. I fucking hate some of you niggas. You niggas be playing games with me. <clears throat> nah, so busy playing games and shit. Y'all yeah, think everything is. Man, shut up. Man, shut up and drink this bleach, nigga. Y'all think everything's a goddamn game. Everything's not a motherfucking game, my nigga. You niggas gotta watch this Big K versus Big Cannon. Hit my description box. You're welcome. You're welcome, my niggas. It's only been out a day. Hit my description box, my nigga. This is a crazy battle. Crazy battle. I gave it myself to Big Cannon. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I, I, um, ah, I gave it to Big Cannon. You know why I'm saying this like this? Because it's like a Big K's third round is full of haymaker jokes. But you know what, my nigga? Big Cannon went stupid, B. I gave Big K... Big K is just so gritty, my nigga. He's just like... Woo! Big K on that street shit, my nigga. Like, like for real. For real. He's in my top five right now, my nigga. He just made it. I don't care. I don't, niggas gotta understand. I just like good battles. I don't give a fuck if you want to lose. I just like good battles. And I told Big K, I actually thought he lost... In the venue, outside, when he's doing this interview, I told him that shit. I keep it a funky with these niggas in person and shit. It's not even like I'm like, oh, yeah, I think you won. No, no. I keep it funky with niggas in person, my nigga. I let you know, no, nigga, I think you lost that shit. But it was a crazy battle. And he'll tell you that shit. He's like, was it a classic? Definitely it was. This is definitely a classic. I just think that Big K, uh, Big K's second round was too short. And I think his third round was all right. You know what I'm saying? Well, it was dope, actually. But I just think that Big Cannon was stupid. But Big K got round one. You niggas have got to watch this battle. This battle was just fucking stupid, man. You gotta watch this battle. Motherfucker, if you don't watch this battle, my nigga, I will fucking find out where you niggas live. You niggas got Facebook? I will use your goddamn messenger and look, look for your fucking location and find you, nigga. Stop playing games. This battle is fucking dope, nigga. Fuck with your boy, you fan 007, nigga. I'm out here, nigga. I told you niggas I got you, nigga. I don't know. I, I got you, niggas. Just calm down. Give me some time. I got you, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But, yo, that's how I really feel about that Drake shit. I see a lot of niggas just like, yo, know I'm saying? Shout out to you niggas, too. Because we got, like, 10,000 views in, like, a day and shit. Shout out to you niggas. I'm not mad. Shout out to, um, Diz and Cassidy. I mean, yo, can somebody clear up this room I'm hearing about Cassidy getting 250,000 for this battle? Like, I think that's a rumor. I don't think he got 250 fucking thousand to battle disaster. I do not think that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a rumor. I'm not saying a fact. It's a rumor. Let me know what y'all niggas think about this shit. Hey, Bonnie, turn the fuck up. Hey, Cortez, turn the fuck up and stop playing games with me. Gilly, uh, get in that ring and start practicing shit. Because if you lose a fucking soldier boy, that shit going to be ugly. That's how I feel, man. Fuck with your boy, you fan 007, nigga. I'm out of here, nigga. One.